Hello everybody, it's Wondercat, and again I'm going to bring you the same gimmicky team with the same Slurpuff, uh, this time against a friend of mine um, called Akira, and in this game he's called Sincerely, so we're going to go ahead and see what uh, Slurpuff was able to accomplish among other things. Okay, so my um, screen was a little buggy, but he starts out and he immediately, he immediately, um, does trick on me with his Jirachi. So I end up with a Choice Scarf and he ends up with the Life Orb, giving him nice damage, but, you know, damage by the turn in return for it, and I end up Scarfed so I can't really do anything to him, because I picked a move that was not really the best thing ever. Um, I go for Calm Mind with Espeon. Now I do have to say, everything besides my Rodom Wash and my Unburdened Slurpuff are all either Magic Guard or, um, what's that other one? Magic Bounce. Just so, th like, this is basically a full gimmick team that exists for the sole purpose of ensuring that things like Stealth Rocks there that just got flipped back, or any kind of, uh, status damage just don't do anything to me. Um... Um, some of them are just immune to turn-based damage, and some of them bounce back anything that directly inflicts, um, something that could cause a turn-based damage. But I believe he hit me with, like, a normal fire move that gave me that burn, so it didn't quite count for that. Alright, so, I was able to one-shot his Jirachi with Shadow Ball, which was nice. Um, it gave at least some purpose to my Espeon. He brings out a Celebi. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball again. Again with a super effective hit. Unfortunately, that did not take out Celebi, and Espeon goes down. Um, we actually had a spectator who had played against Akira the very match before this, and he kept criticizing both of our gameplay, and it was pretty annoying, especially since he didn't really know what he was talking about anyway. Well, I go into Sableye, I Will-O-Wisp, it misses Terrakion. He goes for the close combat, which doesn't actually affect Sableye, which, yeah, he's made that mistake a couple of times when I've played against him. I just go for Will-O-Wisp again, he switches out, and then he's in his Charizard. Unfortunately, Stealth Rocks does extreme damage to Charizard. And he switches back out, I switch into Rodom Wash, and he switches into Gastrodon, which is good for me, except that I didn't know that he had Storm Drain, so my Hydro Pump doesn't really do anything. So I just will wisp him, and yeah, he goes for the Scald and does get the burn, which is kind of irritating. He's gotten pretty good, uh, pretty good luck with the status so far. So I switch into Clefable. I actually thought I might have had Heal Bell on it, but I forgot that I went with a uh, template from a YouTuber, and I was trying trying it out. Um, my initial intent was to Heal Bell Rotom, but I just go for the Cosmic Power. And he brings out Heat Ran, which is really not a good matchup for Clefable the way that I'm running it right now. And you'll understand if you see my moveset. Okay, so his Heat Ran has Flash Fire, so my Flamethrower is not going to do anything to him. And uh, he goes for the Toxic, which actually doesn't do anything to me. So I just go for Cosmic Power. Um, because of the Magic Guard ability, anytime I'm supposed to take damage by the turn, it's not going to happen, which is also why I had Life Orb on Alakazam. I can get away with having Life Orb without taking that turn-based damage, which is really nice, because I just get a, th I, I get a free, uh, free boost from the Life Orb, and it doesn't cost me anything. So I'm going for Stored Power here. Um, I figured after I had gotten all these Cosmic Powers off that, you know, maybe the stat changes would do something with it. It doesn't happen that way. Um, I might need to have attack bonuses with it, I'm not sure. But regardless, Stored Power was not well, not going well for me. I try for Moonblast, that also just isn't hitting this guy worth a damn, he's resisting it. I kind of wish I had Seismic Toss on this Clefable, um, now that I think about it. But it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to try to tank out whatever I can. He's just going to keep lava pluming me. I do manage to get the heat ran to half, which is something, I guess. And the lava plume finally takes me out. Alright, so from this point, he's back up to 60 HP. I go into Rodom Wash. 
And I'm expecting, okay, he's going to switch out. No, he protects. So the Will-O-Wisp doesn't do anything for me there. And I just take burn damage. So that entire turn was a waste. And then I miss the Hydro Pump, which after the last video where Hydro Pump was hitting 50 billion times for that other guy was pretty frustrating. Um, he just goes for Protect again. And I try to go for Pain Split. Uh, that really would have been a pretty big help. I would have been like half or more health, and he would have been pretty low by the time that hit, but the Protect protects him. I go into Mega Sableye. Unfortunately, I get two shot before I can get set up um, by those Lava Plumes, and I go down. So I am literally down to Slurpuff versus five Pokemon. It does not look very good. All right, so... At this point, I am just literally depending on a Slurpuff sleep. Like before, I go straight into Belly Drum with Citrus Berry. I get Toxic. I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm worried about knocking that Heat Ran off the field as soon as possible. He goes for Protect, which is irritating. I can't get off my Drain Punch. But I know that it's unlikely he'll be able to get it twice in a row. So I go for another Drain Punch. And I get it. It one-shots him, which I expected it to do. And I got full health. And the Toxic is starting to do about 20% health now, which is not good. Thankfully, he switches into his Charizard for whatever reason, and the Stealth Rocks just take it out. That should have been the last Pokemon that he had, when you think about it, because uh, that's the one Pokemon that he switches in, and immediately it'll go down, but I guess he wasn't um, expecting that. I go for Play Rough and Terrakion. Uh, that Stab Damage really did me some favors, and I was able to get it down. I also go for Play Rough on Celebi, and that also seems to work out. I did go for Aromatherapy, if you guys were wondering what happened to the Toxic. I did that on the turn that Charizard was switched in, and now Gastrodon comes in, I Drain Punch, he goes for Scald, and uh, thankfully it doesn't burn, because um, if it would have, I would have had to waste a turn on Aromatherapy. I Drain Punch it again, and it's out. So that's the last of his Pokemon. And uh, once again, I get extremely good results with the Slurpuff sweep. Slurpuff is a monster, guys. I mean, I know that you don't see it highly played on that uh, that OU, OU tier, but some of you guys should really start carrying this thing. It is a very dangerous fairy-type Pokemon. And uh, hopefully my last couple of videos have given you some insight onto that. Holy shit. Um, so alright, this has been Wondercat, and this has been the third day in a row that I've actually posted a video. Holy shit, I'm active on YouTube. Oh my god, this is like, whoa. <laughs> Jokes aside though, guys, if you have any questions about the nature of this strategy, why I'm using what I'm using, and if I personally think it's any good, uh, hint, it's not, um... I mean, there are some good elements to it, but this whole uh, Magic Bounce, Magic Guard, full team thing is pretty predictable if you're seeing an experienced enough uh, player that they know what to expect. I mean, I do have a balanced out enough team that I have some sweepers, I have some walls, I have some status, you know. But uh, for the most part, I wouldn't recommend trying to duplicate this. Um, this is more... This is just more a direct counter to the... Uh, status meta that seems to be going on right now and uh i mean for me i'm just trying stuff out especially in ou guys um i'm not really used to ou quite yet or even uh pokemon in general for that matter i've only been doing this for about a month um not even on showdown for a month on showdown for a couple days so um yeah this has been one cat and i hope you all have a wonderful day